Professor Koskiri is coming. And uh, we are just here to preside over the handing over. But allow me to say a few things uh, before I invite uh, Professor Iro and then eventually Professor uh, Koske. As a council, we have been here for, I believe, about a year. We have been in office for a year. Uh, we came at a time when uh, the country was going through elections. And uh, you know when the, le when, when the country is going through elections, basically this is a government institution. Uh, elections usually tend to put government institutions on a shut down mode. However, we were able to, we were ushered in. Um, we were able to, of course, do a few things. We were able to settle down. We were able to work with uh, Professor Ayiro. And uh, I think for me, I just want to thank him uh, most sincerely for ushering us in and also for us being very honest about the, the, the status of more University. I think we had a series of meetings. We had a series of meetings last year. And uh, usually when we talk about challenges, it's, it's, it's a painful thing. It is not a very good experience. You know, we want, we always like to be glamorous and talk about, you know, we are doing well, things are good, and it's a good feeling. Um, Napoleon Hill talks about the power of positive thinking, which I think is a good thing. But sometimes it's also important to have a real conversation with yourself and about yourself. <coughs> And, and, and I think that conversation for us here at Moi uh, has shown us that we have challenges, but we also have immense opportunities that we just need to harness and to be able to overcome the challenges. And I think for the last uh, one year that we have been with Ayiro, he's done his best, uh, he's done a few things, now we have the law library that's almost um, getting completed. The perimeter wall has started. I think the, the general outlook of the university is not very discouraging at this point in time. Um, I think also the morale has improved, staff morale. And, um, and so I am sure he will tell us you know, some of his achievements. But I just wanted to mention a few so that as he goes, you'll actually know that he has contributed to this university and that this university will not forget him, whatever he will be. For the short time that he has been here, for the things that he has been able to do, um, we just want to appreciate you. And um, for the incoming vice chancellor, uh, professor, you, um, I was, as I was telling you in my office, you know, some of the things that uh, you, you talked about in the interview, they, they actually, now you'll have an opportunity, uh, first hand, to actually tackle them. And uh, I have no doubt in my mind that uh, you will take you, this university to greater heights. We have no doubt. And what I want to assure you, is our total commitment as a council, as the chair. I want to assure you, uh, before this great multitude, that you can count on me, you can count on us, we will support you. Because we want to see this university harness some of those opportunities and overcome those challenges. So we are here to support. Nobody actually came here to pursue their interests. We are here to pursue the interests of this institution. And I'm sure you are here also for the same. So because of that, it seems like our, our interests sort of are merging there. You know, they, they, they sort of meet there. Thank you very much, uh, our Chairman of Council, Dr. Jeremiah Koshal. 
uh, members of the council present here today, uh, our new vice chancellor, Professor Isaac Kosgei, uh, members of management present here, uh, I will allow me to single out uh, the Deputy Vice-Chancellors, Professor Nath, uh, Nath, Nathan Ogechi, uh, in charge of Student Affairs, uh, and also holding the portfolio of Administration Planning and Development in an acting capacity. Professor Isaac Kimengi, in charge of Academic Research and Extension. Professor Daniel Tarus, in charge of Finance our finance officer, our legal officer, and uh, our chaplain, uh, I think, uh, and my staff, uh, our information, and of course, uh, members of the press present here. I, I would like to thank God for the opportunity he gave me to serve this university uh, as an acting vice-chancellor. Vice I wish not to go into how it all started because I know at 10 o'clock the Senate is assembled to receive the new Vice Chancellor and, I, and we all know the importance of Senate. You don't keep Senate waiting. But I just want to thank God for the opportunity he gave me to be your acting Vice Chancellor and to give me the teremity, the stability of mind and the vision to hold the university as the government was seeking out for a substantive vice chancellor. I just want to pose this question, and, and everybody keeps on asking me, was this VC's position a poisoned chalice for you? The answer is no. It has been a great experience. I have no regrets. My heart is clean. Isaac, I've told you, you can count on me. I'm still a member of your staff, and after my leave, I'll be teaching my PhD students research methods and statistics because I value and love this university. My current status has something to do with the pioneering spirit of our, our retired president, Daniel Torre, teacher Rap Moy. He lifted me from humble beginnings and changed the trajectory of my life. And so I owe it to this university, and I'll give you all the support. I want to thank members of the, the government of the Republic of Kenya who appointed me as acting vice chancellor. I want to thank the chairman of council, members of council. I want to thank faculty, support staff, and students for their support and commitment. And as I leave, I feel we held our university in very high esteem. I worried about how I presented myself, even the way I dressed. Every time I would leave my house, I would say, am I carrying the image of more university? And even as I leave, I'll always uphold the image and the reputation of this university. So following your appointment as the Vice Chancellor of Moe University, uh, Professor Isaac Kosge, and the end of my term as Acting Vice Chancellor, I wish to submit the handover report which contains the following. There is staff in the Vice Chancellor's office. There is office equipment and vehicles. There is the Moi University Charter, ongoing development projects, performance contracting, Moi University campuses, Moi University constituent colleges, restructuring uh, for service delivery improvement document, council matters, accounting manager, a school of aerospace, a very sensitive area, Bank signatories, vice chancellor's committee, forthcoming quality inspection audit by the Commission for University Education, reports from the deputy vice chancellors, and then I'll conclude my remarks. Now, you'll meet a staff uh, in this university, and the vice chancellor's office consists of the main campus, Nairobi campus, and Rivertex. So you have three offices, and the following staff are stationed in the above offices. I wish not to go through them, but main campus is the biggest, uh, and we have uh, close to 10 staff working for you here. Nairobi office has uh, four members of staff, and River takes one member of staff. 
What is in this office is what Professor Mibe handed over. In fact, I had nothing to carry out of this office, nothing personal. Uh, there is a refrigerator, there is a TV, there is a hot cold water dispenser, executive chair, executive table, sofa set, computer, uh, uh, four printers, three photocopier, vehicles, scanner. Uh, there is also the administrative office, and there's the Nairobi office, which also has a vehicle, computer, printer. And those, all those are in, in the books, and you should be able to, to, to see them. Uh, there is also the more university charter and statutes. Uh, they, are, they are held in custody here, so you should be able to find them. There is also the ongoing development projects, and I just want to mention them. There is uh, the following are ongoing, the perimeter wall, the main gate, um, the 2250 hostel, uh, the renovation of hostels H and J, the PDN building at the College of Health Sciences, the Science Laboratory at the School of Biological and Physical Sciences, the Library building at the School of Law, the proposed construction of the amphitheater, 6,000 capacity, the construction of three 500 capacity lecture halls at main campus, the beautification of the campus, including uh, walking pavements, and of course the, there is the digital literacy program. The status of the above projects are detailed in the attached A, P, and D report of the division as per in, uh, Appendix 3. So you'll get all those documented. And then number five, more university campuses. The following campuses are operational main campus, annex, town campus, west campus, Nairobi campus, coast campus, Kitale campus, and Odero Akango campus. We have two constituent colleges of more university. There is Bomet University College and Alupe University College. And uh, Professor Kosge, your first assignment will be to hand over uh, Bomet uh, University College, the process of handing over, and then followed by Alupe. So those are two important functions. In fact, Bomet is coming on Friday next week. Then restructuring of service delivery improvement. Uh, there is an ongoing uh, digitization of uh, our management system. There is also the integrated payroll and personnel database. We are going on to the IPPD, uh, which is under the Ministry of Public Service, Gender and Youth, uh, installing the system. Uh, that is something you need to put your eye on because of uh, the, pa the past occurrences related to the payroll management in this university. Um, council matters, they are detailed. I, I wouldn't want to bring them up here, but there are two <coughs> ongoing uh, disciplinary cases, uh, uh, pending issues involving previous staff, the previous Deputy Vice Chancellor of Finance, uh, uh, Deputy Vice Chancellor Administration Planning and Development, and our Finance Officer. Uh, there is a change of accounting manager. I've been the accounting manager for the School of Aerospace. Uh, this is a requirement by the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority. That aerospace program is in the balance, and uh, I'm requesting the incoming VC to get to the dean of the school and ensure that all changes of management are effected immediately because it is due for inspection. Otherwise, our planes will not be allowed to fly. And that will be very difficult for us, considering we have students who are supposed to do certain hours of piloting before graduation. Bank signatories, as an acting vice chancellor, have been the signatory to various bank accounts, and this uh, ceases henceforth. You are therefore advised to consult the council on affecting the change, and I know that our DVC finance and the finance officer and the council secretariat will facilitate for change of signature. There is also the Vice Chancellor's Committee, a national committee, uh, by virtue of your appointment, and I know we have met there when you are representing your Vice Chancellor. Uh, you'll be attending and participating in this committee upon invitation by the Secretariat. Important areas, performance contracting, we are giving, I'm leaving behind uh, the contract for 2018, is attached as Appendix 1, and uh, it, will, it will require your attention 
to see to its uh, uh, appropriate implementation. The second quarter financial report of our finances is attached uh, for your further interrogation. And uh, the quality inspection audit by the Commission for University Education. Uh, since being given the charter under the University Act of 2012, uh, more University is being revisited for an institutional audit. It's not an academic program audit. It's an institutional audit. They audit every aspect of more University. And uh, so the DVC academic uh, should keep you uh, briefed and the Director of Quality Assurance but the Commission has yet to give us a date. Um, <clears throat> reports from Deputy Vice-Chancellor's divisions. The reports from the DVCs uh, detail various activities in each respective division and are all attached as follows. DVC uh, Administration Planning and Development, Appendix 3. Deputy Vice-Chancellor Student Affairs, Appendix 4. Deputy Vice-Chancellor Finance, Appendix 5. Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic Research and Extension, Appendix 6. Uh, all this will require detailed reading. Uh, I think as we sign off the report, you'll get all the, the details. Uh, please go through them. If there are areas of clarification, we have run a very open system here. All my uh, DVCs and the management know everything. But if there is need for further consultation, I am not shy to come back. If you want me to come back, I'll come back. If you need my advice, even if you need to assign me to do something, I am willing to do that for the sake of more university. So in conclusion, uh, Chair of Council, I, I, I want to thank you for the privilege to serve. Uh, this experience has taught me something. I teach strategic management. I teach leadership. I teach research methods, I teach statistics. But this experience has taught me that uh, in life, you must contextualize every situation and thank God for the opportunity he gives you to serve. So for me, this one, one and a half years has been a full term of being a vice chancellor because I've been in this office every morning at six and I leave past hours. So if I put the hours I've put in, they're almost five years, in one and a half years. And I thank God for that opportunity. And therefore, Professor Isaac Kosge, I take this opportunity to sincerely, and I am a very honest person, sincerely congratulate you for the appointment as the Vice Chancellor of Moi University. And I wish you success as you steer this our university to greater heights. I have no doubt that you, to you together with management and council will do well. And we shall be all the time supporting you in what you do so that more university becomes the university of choice, becomes a world-class university. So I conclude by thanking God that from nowhere you brought me to this office. I did not deserve perhaps to be in this office, but you brought me to this office, and I thank you for that opportunity. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.